Hello. My name's Audio. Oh, uh, it was income phase. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. I must have missed that. Uh, we're gonna talk to Cleo again because she's adorable. And we're gonna recruit her. I mean, there are a lot of cute characters, in this. and also I have to, like, I mean, way later on in like, or way earlier, I guess, one of my parts, I was talking about how you need all the lolly characters for Tom Marie's character clear, and I said that I was hoping for an H scene, and that sounds really weird in this situation because you need Cleo and you need, um, oh my God, what's her name? Kyoko's daughter, um, Yuna. She's like really little, you know, and. I was not looking forward to an H scene with them, but if there was one in the game with them, I would still be happy about it. You know what I mean? Like, that's that's a little too young for me, I'm just saying, you know. But some people like those things, and if it's fictional, I think it's perfectly okay. That's what I meant. I should clarify that. I'm pretty open about what I like, I think. I'm pretty sure I'm open about what I like on these, in these videos, anyway. So. I, I just remembered it and thought that I would clarify it. I mean, the odds of somebody having seen that video and remembering that statement and then watching this video, you know, it's like a 30 video gap of non-relevance. Uh, I, I just thought I'd put it out there, you know. <laughs> um. Cute as fuck. And if you let Cleo die, if you recruit Cleo and you let her die ever, you're not allowed to watch any videos I upload. How does that sound? Alright, so this place is getting out of hand, and then you just, you're like, oh my god, how am I gonna, you know, I can't deal with the stress, I can't deal with it, it's gonna riot, and then you just click restore order. 10 BP solves all your problems. You need to make sure you have a person stationed there. That's why I couldn't do it in the last part. And we're going to suppress the world tree, and there we go. Now the elves should start existing um, sometime. Uh, I need to see. Like, I don't really want to talk to Ren again. I'll talk to Heita. I don't know why his loyalty is dropping so, so badly. Um... I know, um, Heita and Yuki, both of them, they don't have perfect loyalty, uh, until you talk to them enough, and then they get it, so. You know, it just stops, their loyalty stops decreasing after a time, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with Heita right now. Uh, whatever. But, uh, I'm gonna actually remove my people from Hawaii. Because that's... I don't actually know why I did that. <laughs> it was just like, I've got to do something, so I did. Um, and there, now hate says loyalty won't decrease at all. And I'll do something similar with Yuki at some point as well. Um, I think it's there. Like, the star that increases his loyalty, or whatever the fuck, you know? I mean... Alright. You're all actually going to go right there, and we're going to start moving towards the Nightmare Eyes. Uh, I guess I'll upload them a little earlier than Halloween, right? Um, yeah, I'm thinking. That's what I'm doing. I need to think more. Um, I guess I actually mostly got all the money that I could have from that income phase. Just about, anyway. Um, oh, yeah, and because I defeated the PGG, I got another pin. And this is one of the better ones. Uh, the bonus, 100 HP, plus Dark and Holy type advantage. And it makes your type nothing? Okay, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty fucking amazing. Um, I don't really know who to give it to, to be honest. Um, I usually give the 100 HP things to a melee, you know, a short range fighter. Um, or a mid range. Well, yeah, I, I'll give it to Daigo, I guess. For now, I mean, you can take it away and whatever the hell. So. It's not like it's a commitment. That'll be good enough. And we'll finish off the Tori. That was hard. And I gotta station Hay to there so he gets lost inside a pyramid. Also, there are some cool recruitment people options from Tatori. Um, 
I, I'll pull one of them out of there. One, <laughs> I'll pull one out of the pyramid. Um, so yeah. Um, people like this. I'm not willing to deal with that right now. I'm not gonna go over that. <laughs> people who bitch. It's like there are people who complain about the government 24/7. Yet reap all of the benefits. Like, I, I don't know how it is in other countries, and I don't know how many people are watching from other countries, but in America, the same people who are given social security checks and welfare checks will bitch and complain about how the government doesn't do enough. And, you know, like, really? Yeah, that's, you are real? Like, that's what I want to say to them. I don't get any benefits from the government, so I can bitch if I want to, but the people who get a check every month for doing nothing, they can't. You know what I mean? Um, well, for their situation. I mean, they can bitch about other situations. Why am I talking about politics? Well, I'm done with that. Um, huh. Yeah, they might, hopefully they introduce us to the two factions. They introduce you to the Skull Serpents and the Holy Flame earlier on. Like, they don't wait right until you are ready to fight one, or one of them gains the upper hand before they introduce them. I don't think they introduce them this early either, but I'm hoping that they do. Um, I really, really, really like the Skull Serpents. I mean, they're just so cool. And... They, like, I would not even make a bonus video at the end of this Let's Play for, like, shit that I left out if the Skull Serpents weren't a part of it. Because they are. And it's very cool. Like, they're awesome. Like, let me just say that even though Kunagi dies in Senna's route, the route where the Skull Serpents are your enemy, there's still a happy ending for them. You know, the Skull Serpents. There's not in this route because they're not really important in this route at all. Uh, no, they're not, so. Well, this is just another random Boncho group. It's, you know, it's not even a fight that's specific enough for me to talk about, to be honest, I mean. <sighs> so yeah. But the Nightmare Eyes, oh, it's fun to talk about them. And they, uh, in Kunagi's route, they have the coolest sequence in the entire game. Probably. Uh, I've, I really look forward to that. It's not... It's kind of what the Demon Army Blitz was like for me in the Sengoku Rans videos. I look forward to it as much as I look forward to the Blitz. That's not true, but it's close. Um, <laughs> the Demon Army Blitz in Sengoku. I looked forward to that for months. I, I just wanted to do that so badly. Um, but yeah, this battle, not hard, and I, you know, like, you border this territory the second, you're on your first turn in the national phase, so you could attack it, and you could, in theory, go for the Nightmare Eyes right away, um, and you could probably clean up the Nightmare Eyes, you could probably push through them before the PGG declared war on you, but it's still kind of weird, um, I don't think that this game, you know, lowers the strength of some of the units in the Nightmare Eyes if you're going for them first, so... And you'll see the ones I'm talking about. I'm fairly certain they don't have their strength reduced for you if you want to attack the Nightmare Eyes first. So I would never advise doing that. Um, never advise doing that. But, uh, yeah. And of course, Daigo's attack is all, it's all, or health rather, is all low, but it's not really, because I gave him the button, you know? Um, yeah. Um, so I guess I could talk about the fighting game for this. It's apparently a fairly well-received game. It's, you know, it's a doujin fighting game for Big Bang Age, Daibancho, and it's called Big Bang Beat, and at the, oh, I'm at the end of the video. Well, it's funny how that worked out. I guess I'll talk about it at the beginning of the next video. How does that sound? My apologies. <laughs>